I'm losing my mind. <laughs> That's how Dewana Reynolds describes her current financial situation. The Omaha bus driver says it's been months since she's had any income. I'm off both my jobs. I have two different jobs. Both of them are obsolete at this time. And I don't even know if I'm going to have a job to go back to, to drive kids on the bus at the end of the summer. As she waits for her unemployment, she worries she'll lose her home too. I'm scared of being put out. I'm scared of not having a phone. I trying to eat. I want to eat. I need my, my yard cut. I can't pay to do anything to live. Evictions are on hold right now in Nebraska and Iowa, but that changes in Iowa Thursday. Governor Kim Reynolds says she has a plan. I will be allocating funding through the state's allocation of the Federal CARES Act funds for the creation of a COVID-19 eviction and foreclosure prevention program, which will be administered by um, by the Iowa Finance Authority. Reynolds says income requirements will be available by the end of the week. As for struggling Nebraskans, I asked Governor Pete Ricketts if he has any plans for people like Dewana. We've got uh, programs out there already through the federal government that has distributed over $10 million for homeless shelters and housing assistance uh, to be able to help with that. Uh, also, your community collaboratives do this all year round. The hold on evictions in Nebraska will end June 1st. That's Monday. And Dewana doesn't know what she'll do. You have people that are getting ready to lose everything. They're on the verge of losing everything and you guys just don't care. So I did ask both governors about helping any homeowners or renters with their utilities if they're facing shutoffs. Governor Reynolds' office hasn't gotten back with me yet. As for Governor Ricketts, he says homeowners and renters should reach out to their utility companies for help. Reporting in the Metro, I'm Delon Dillard, KETV News Watch 7.